Have you ever wondered how something like this can become this? Hi, my name is Ultra Rahman Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper, and today I'm going to show you how to change your screen from this to this. Green screening, which is what this is called, is basically where you take anything green or blue, usually the easiest colors to remove from an image, place them behind you, remove them from a video, and then place another video where that video used to be. If it sounds complicated, it actually isn't. It's one of the easiest effects in all the major video editing softwares. Just do it through a simple step called a chroma key. And now I'm going to show you how to apply it today in iMovie, but you can do it essentially for any software. Quick note, why would you want to do this? Well, if you're a teacher like me, I like to do lecture videos or videos where I'm speaking. That's a little tough for me to do when I'm doing it in front of a board or like a boring wall because I like to attach images, I like to attach videos, the problems I'm working on, and it gets a lot more difficult or at least a lot uglier if I'm just doing it on a basic wall. On the other hand, if I want to make something like gaming videos, pop culture reviews, it actually works out nicely if my background looks like what I'm talking about. Some YouTubers have the luxury of having very, very nice, well set up rooms that look great on camera. If you don't have that, a green screen is an easy way to fix it. So now let's head on over to the laptop and I'll show you how to fix a green screen in an image so that you can overlay your own images very, very quickly right now. So here I begin by going into iMovie and I'm gonna create a new movie. Now I'm going to go ahead and import all the things that I'm interested in adding and I'll just import them. So these are images that I was interested in adding and this is the actual video that I'm interested in adding them to. So what I'm gonna start here is I'm gonna start by adding this video to here. And notice how let's say I'm talking about a lecture and I wanna make sure that I can add something about my lecture to my background. Right now this does not look very good. So I'm going to begin first by making sure that it's cropped so that it's only the green screen. So what I did was I clicked on this button here, which is the cropping button, went crop to fill, and I made sure that it's only my section with the green screen. And now when we go to it, you will see that now it's just my green screen in the background. So what do I do here? Well, again, I want it to actually look nice. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add this image, which I wanted as the background. And now if you notice, it's all there now, but you might be wondering, what was the point of it? It took up my entire image and now it just goes here. Well, that's, you see, I gotta make sure that the image is placed behind my green screen. So I'm gonna bring my green screen up a layer and I'm gonna bring this behind it but now you're like it's behind it what's the point now well I'm glad you asked so now if you notice I have this and this so I have a new option here when I click on this this is called the video overlay settings I'll click on that and now instead of cut away what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on green or blue screen and as you can see, it automatically took away my entire green screen and made it so that my image sitting there is just this and I can expand it to as far as I want it. And as you can see now, it looks a lot more suitable for a lecture setting. So now I've got the background in as far as I want and as you can see, it looks a lot better than my simple green screen background, which now won't appear because I've gone there but if I turn it off again, and I turn off the green effect, as you can see, pretty hideous. Turn on the green screen effect, pretty cool. And now, let's say I wasn't doing this just for this purpose. Maybe I want to actually do it so that I could have this cool effect of this young man, who I think is going to be a good writer someday and I can add his to the background if I'm talking about Shakespeare. It's just about leveling up my video so that people can be a little more interested. And finally, if I decide to do a lesson on this martial artist, I can add this here. And that is a very simple way to make sure that you add a nice background using a simple 
green screen. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments. And if you found this helpful, consider liking and subscribing. This is Pax Annie Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.